sub is fairly complex and requires a bit of, of creativity when, when uh, doing your design because you have to think about um, what could go wrong and uh, possibilities for it to uh, fail safely or um, just recover from, from a failed condition. Our goal this year was to train new members. One of the primary new projects was the construction of the development robot, or DevBot for short. This robot was used to tune the motor controllers and work with the sensor data as the main vehicle was being designed. The DevBot was simple enough to let people with little to no experience work on an impactful project while gaining valuable skills. So we've definitely made a lot of changes since last year. All of our subsystems such as gripper, torpedoes, markers, uh, they've all been improved with the lessons that we learned last year. We wanted to improve upon what made Crush so great. So we're still using a dome, uh, but this year instead of epoxying that dome, we actually are using a 3D O-ring. The pressure hole was very difficult to machine. Um, we ha actually contracted that out to GCC and they uh, used some five axis machines to uh, make each section out of a single piece of aluminum. Our camera system has been completely renovated. In the past, we would struggle to look around us in order to find field elements. This year, we introduced a gimbling camera. It can be used both for forward and downward facing tasks, and both to lock onto targets as we approach them, and to search for objects that we don't yet know where they are. Our poor stability last year was a major concern, and therefore fixing it this year was a huge priority. With advice during our design review from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, we came up with a solution to use an 18-dimensional linear quadratic regulator. The result is unparalleled stability that works even without any tuning across the three vehicles we've tested this year. Even though this is only our third year competing in RoboSub, we know that our team will continue strong into the future. All the people on the robotics team are really great to work with. There's a pretty good flow of information. Um, we have a very robust system in place, both mechanically, uh, electrically, and in terms of our computer code. I think that people should look forward to seeing us completing the marker tasks, the torpedo task, and the hydrophone tasks. We are incredibly grateful to the Caltech Moore Hofstadter and George Hausner Funds for supporting the scientific endeavors of students on campus. We'd also like to thank our many returning and new sponsors who help fund our efforts.